got a patient here who's in her 80s who's had a an exchange of a suprapubic catheter. And believe it or not, the suprapubic catheter, when they put it back in, actually ended going back up her left ureter, which is something that's really hard to do if you think about it. The balloon was then inflated, which will almost certainly have damaged the ureter to a certain extent. But unfortunately, because the catheter then was kinked as it went round the corner into the ureter, it was impossible to deflate the balloon channel, despite even cutting off the end of the catheter, which would be something you would try first. So what I'm going to do now is try and go transgluteally into a pelvis and puncture the balloon directly under CT guidance, just with a 22 gauge needle. Hopefully that will deflate the balloon and then they'll be able to remove the balloon under cystoscopic guidance in theatre and put a new Foley catheter in. This is the Foley balloon and you can see the kink in the channel and so my needle can't come in directly adjacent to the sacrum which is my ideal approach in how I'd use, how I'd do a drainage of the pelvis. We're going to have to come in that way which is slightly more risky but with a 22 gauge needle I don't think we'll have a problem. So I'm just going to move this round a little bit. It's probably going to be about there. Okay, I'm just going to rest something on your skin here. So I'm just marking the skin in the lateral direction and that's where we're going to make our puncture. So I'm going to put some anaesthetic in here to numb it up, okay? It's be a little sharp scratch now. And keep nice and still, it's going to be a little bit of a sting, okay? Now we're just going to check that position again. Okay, happy with that. We're lined up quite nicely. Okay. So rather than using a green needle, which won't be long enough, we're just going to use a 22 gauge spinal needle for the rest of our local anaesthetic. You might get the odd twinge from this, it might sting a little bit. So we'll just check our position again and check the angle. We could well be off on our angle there. We'll see. So that's a reasonable angle. We're aiming slightly towards the head, if anything. So we're just going to redirect, but from the medial to lateral position, we're okay. So we're just going to come slightly more towards the feet. And we're going to go in with more anaesthetic. You okay there? Yeah. Good. It's all right. Okay, so that's looking good. Is it feel, feeling that in your leg? Yeah. The back of your leg? Okay. Right, we'll just check our angle now. So I think we were tickling the sciatic nerve there, which is no great surprise. So our redirect is slightly more medial. Okay. That looks fine. Almost, this needle's almost long enough to get that, actually. I think what we might do is go ahead with this needle. So it's going to push this a little bit further, okay? Is that all right? Let's just try that now. I think we might be getting some fluid back from there, which could be from the balloon. So I think that's actually deflated the balloon a bit. So what I'm going to do is just advance this a bit further and just aspirate. I think that's probably done it actually. There, that's deflated the balloon. They should now be able to remove that. Okay, we're done. I think it's worked. Just going to pop a tiny little dressing on there, okay?